but that Nova had come up in our local trading post for sale. And I knew the person who back half it. Uh, I knew of his work. It was, he's really, really a badass. And it was a maximum performance race cars. It was max. I've heard of them. Yeah. And um, so this ad came up and I called about the car and talked to the guy. Same deal. I think it was 1800 bucks for the body. Uh, and uh, I didn't have 1800 bucks. So I lost that car. Well, sometime after that, I ran into a friend, a uh, local neighborhood guy who almost the same age and we had mutual friends and he said he just bought a race car. And I said, really? And he started describing it. And uh, I said, Buckeye Express. And he said, yeah. And I said, oh, my God. I said, I tried to buy that car. I wanted that car. Oh, my God. That car had original paint on it. Really? It had a vinyl top on it, and it had original paint. It was a really, really nice Nova. And so I said, you got to sell me that car. And my buddy said, no. He said, I'm going to go drag racing. He had a GM worker, um, you know, made plenty of money. And uh, he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go drag racing. I said, let me tell you what drag racing is all about. <laughs> you go to the racetrack. You sit there in the staging lanes for hours and hours and hours. You make three passes in one day. Mm -hmm. I said, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you blow that engine up, there you go. There's another 15 grand. He yeah. blew the engine up in two weeks. Oh, my God. And he called me and said, come get this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 1976. Yeah. So I bought the car and I didn't even have a garage. I put it in my next door neighbor's yard and built my garage before I could do the car. 